Welcome everyone to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is a problem of CSR UGC NET June 2023 Mathematical Science. This is a problem of linear algebra. The question ID is 704028. Uh, the question is seen here that uh, let T be a linear operator on R3 and Fx be the characteristic polynomial of T. Then consider the following two statements. Uh, one is said that if t is non-zero and zero is an eigenvalue of t and if we write fx equal to x into gx then the linear operator g of t will be zero and option b says that if zero is an eigenvalue of t with at least two linearly independent eigenvectors and if we write fx equal to x into gx then the linear operator gt is zero then which of the following is true so first we have to check that option a and option B, which one will be true and which one will be false. So now for A, uh, actually now here we will show that uh, option A is false and option B will be true. So for this to show the option A is false, uh, let us take a linear operator T equal to T equal to Zero, 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 zero minus one, zero, 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 zero. Actually, we know that there is a no difference between a linear operator and a matrix. So, in R three, any linear operator from R three to R three is actually a three by three matrix. So we can write t as this, actually this t will be actually t x y z in mapping form, operator form, this will be 0, comma minus y, comma z and the matrix of t will be this. So we can write t equal to this or t equal to this, anyone. Now this is very easy to verify that the characteristic polynomial fx of t will be uh, x into x square minus 1. Now, uh, see clearly the eigenvalues are 0 and 1. So, option the condition of option 1 is uh, satisfied that 0 is an eigenvalue of t. And now, this is actually if we write x into gx, then from here our gx will be actually x square minus 1. And now we have to check that this gt is 0 or not. So calculate just gt. So this will be our t square minus i and since t is this, t square will be just calculate t square will be 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 uh, sorry actually we have to take here uh, 1 just a mistake is there. We will take uh, t equal to 0 0 0 0 minus 1 0 0 0 1 uh, or t x y z equal to 0 minus y z then this t square g t will be t square minus i t square will be this and i is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 this is a very easy calculation we need to uh, show here how t square is this just left uh, for you. Now this will be our um, minus 1, 0, 0 and uh, second and third rows will be 0 rows. So this is clearly not equal to 0. That is this is not equal to null operator. Uh, so if t, uh, if gt will be 0 then the matrix of gt will be uh, null matrix. So we can uh, write this as operator form or matrix form whatever so gt from this as gt is not a null matrix so gt is not equal to 0 as a operator so option a 
the condition of option A is satisfied, but the operator GT is not a zero operator. So option A is false. Now uh, consider option B. This is for option A. This is for option A. And now here we will check for option B. See here. Given that 0 is an eigenvalue with at least two eigenvectors. That means null space of T that is actually here our null space of T minus for the eigenvalue 0. 0 is an eigenvalue of T. So one eigenvalue is zero, lambda equal to zero. Now <clears throat> the eigenspace, the dimension of the eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvalue zero is eta t minus zero i. This is actually dimension of null space of t minus zero i. This is given that greater than equal to 2 because we know that the uh, dimension of the null space t minus uh, null space of t minus lambda i is actually defined as the uh, geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalue lambda. And uh, so if uh, there are at least two eigen uh, at least two linearly independent eigenvectors corresponding to this lambda equal to zero eigenvalue then this uh, dimension of this null space uh, must be at least two so we have to consider the two different cases that case one in case one we will consider when this eta t geometric multiplicity of t is equal to there are two cases one is eta t equal to 2 and the other case is one is 3 and other case is eta t equal to 2 so we will consider these two separate cases so first consider eta t equal to 3 that is the geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalue 0 is 3 so write this geometric multiplicity of 0 corresponding to this operator equal to 3. Then definitely we know that algebraic multiplicity of an eigenvalue must be greater than equal to geometric multiplicity of that eigenvalue. So since t is a linear operator on R3, so here algebraic multiplicity of 0 will be also 3 because the characteristic polynomial is of at, uh, at most degree 3 mm. actually uh, exactly equal to degree 3 so here geometric multiplicity equal to algebraic multiplicity of the eigenvalue 0 so this is very clear that the characteristic polynomial here will be fx equal to x cube because the algebraic multiplicity of 0 is equal to 3 so the characteristic polynomial will be x cube. So here uh, 0 is the only eigenvalue and algebraic multiplicity of 0 equal to geometric multiplicity of 0. So we can conclude here that all eigenvalues are regular from this because there is a, uh, exactly one eigenvalue. So from here we can conclude that all eigenvalues are regular all eigenvalues are regular and there is a standard result that a linear operator t is diagonalizable if and only if all its eigenvalues are regular so from this we have that t is diagonalizable and since this is characteristic polynomial fx equal to x cube uh, so from here our f of t equal to t q equal to 0 by Kelly Hamilton theorem. So t is actually nilpotent operator and since t is nilpotent operator and also t not equal to 0 
so t cannot be diagonalizable because if t would be diagonalizable then minimal polynomial would be distinct linear factor so minimal polynomial must be x but minimal polynomial uh, minimal polynomial would be x m uh, say mx should be mtx should be x but if this is minimal polynomial then this uh, this annihilates t and then our uh, mt t will be 0 so t equal to 0 null operator but t given that t not equal to 0 so so uh, this is not so and hence uh, this nilpotent operator cannot be diagonalizable so these two statements uh, should not satisfy simultaneously that all these eigenvalues are regular and t is not diagonalizable. So, this case cannot happen. So, this is not feasible case, case 1, where data t equal to 3. Now, we consider the case when eta t will be 2. Case 2. eta t geometric multiplicity of 0 <coughs> equal to that is geometric multiplicity of 0 equal to 2. So now there are also two sub cases we have to consider that uh, when geometric multiplicity of 0 is 2 then algebraic multiplicity may be uh, 2 or 3. So here we have to consider two different sub cases. So, sub case 1, we will consider that algebraic multiplicity is algebraic multiplicity of 0 is equal to 2. So, now uh, this characteristic polynomial should be of the form x squared because algebraic multiplicity of 0 is 2. And also since t is a linear operator of uh, on R3, so characteristic polynomial is of degree 3. So another 1 degree polynomial, say x minus whatever, say lambda. So now clearly here, uh, lambda, uh, the algebraic multiplicity of lambda is 1. And hence geometric multiplicity of lambda must be 1. So from here, the uh, algebraic multiplicity of 0 equal to 2 equal to geometric multiplicity of 2 and also algebraic multiplicity of lambda equal to geometric multiplicity of lambda equal to 1. So, what we got that all eigenvalues are regular. All eigenvalues are regular. They have same algebraic and geometric multiplicity. Values are regular. So, uh, From here, we can write x into this is x minus lambda. So, our gx is equal to x into x minus lambda. And now, since all eigenvalues are regular, so t is diagonalizable. t is diagonalizable. So, minimal polynomial must be of distinct linear factors. So, from here we can conclude that the minimal polynomial m lambda t is equal to, oh sorry, I can write m x t instead of m lambda t because lambda we have taken one eigenvalue. So, m x t, this is, should be actually our uh, x into x minus lambda because 0 is one eigenvalue and lambda is one eigenvalue so there are two eigenvalues 0 and lambda so minimal polynomial must be this so minimal polynomial uh, uh, annihilates t so we have from here that m t t equal to t into t minus lambda i equal to 0 operator 0 so now here our gx is this so now gt will be our t into t minus lambda i and by this 
we have this equal to 0. So what we get our gt equal to 0. We get our gt equal to 0. So option B says that gt equal to 0 and we get that. If the given condition is satisfied then gt will be 0. So this is one subcase. So uh, from this we cannot conclude that option B is true because we have to consider another subcase case 2. Subcase 2. So now we will consider the subcase 2. That subcase is actually our algebraic multiplicity is 3. So now in case 2, this is subcase 2. So our geometric multiplicity of lambda is 2 and algebraic multiplicity of sorry geometric multiplicity of 0 is 2 and algebraic multiplicity of 0 is 3. This is another subcase. So since algebraic multiplicity of 0 is 3, so clearly our characteristic polynomial of t will be x cube. And since geometric multiplicity is 2 in this case 2, geometric multiplicity of 0 is 2. So there are two Jordan blocks corresponding to this eigenvalue lambda equal to 0. So since algebraic multiplicity of 0 is 3, so the sum of sizes of the Jordan block is 3 and there are two Jordan blocks. So the only case is there is one Jordan block of size 1 and another one Jordan block of size 2. Then the sum of sizes will be 3 and since there are two Jordan blocks, this is the only case of Jordan blocks corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda equal to 0. Now since there are uh, the largest the size of the largest block is 2 so the minimal polynomial in the minimal polynomial mxt this uh, 0 will be appear 0 will be appear two times as a root so this must be of the form x square and since there are there are no other eigenvalue 0 is the only eigenvalue so minimal polynomial should contain the root uh, uh, only root 0 and since the size of the largest block is 2 so 0 will appear as a root 2 times. So this is the minimal polynomial of uh, t. So now see from this fx from this fx we have x into x square and then our gx will be uh, x square from here and since minimal polynomial annihilates t so from here we will have mt t equal to t square will be 0 operator and this now we will calculate this gt so this gt is t square equal to equal to 0 and so by this we have gt equal to 0 so from the given condition of uh, the hypothesis of option b if it is satisfied then we will, we will have this gt equal to 0. So what we actually have here, we have that case 1. We will have that case 1, when we consider case 1, then case 1 is not feasible, that geometric multiplicity of 0 is 3. Uh, this case cannot happen and when we consider case 2 geometric multiplicity is 2 then there are two subcases algebraic multiplicity of is uh, algebraic multiplicity of 0 maybe 2 or 3 uh, in both the cases we have that this gt equal to 0 operator so option b is true generally so now we will have that this option a is false and this option b is true so see which of the following is true so option b and option b are true is a uh, not correct option then 2 says that both a and b are false is also not correct option uh, 3 says that a is true b is false this is not correct option and option 4 says that a is false and b is true this is only the right option so this is the solution of this problem thanks for watching